we are extremely pleased that you are here. We are extremely pleased that we are here. So you have come for some fun, yes. for some clarification, yes. for some manifestations, yes. for some justifications. No. <laughs> You've come to reset more than your clock. A sort of vibrational tuning. Maybe, maybe. You're already flying high. It's nice to be in new spaces. It puts you in a place of new expectation. And expectation is a wonderful thing to understand because your expectation equals your point of attraction. What you expect is what you've practiced vibrationally. By the time you expect it, it's a strong vibration with a strong momentum. So you have put yourselves in a particularly good place. You've been planning this for a while. And in your thinking about your future experience with anticipation of wonderful things, you have already established a momentum that we will all experience the benefit of. It's like riding a wave that will carry us to shores that you have not seen before to experiences that you have not felt before you are knowing what you are wanting and are you appreciating the expansion of that desire we are we are because when life causes you to want something beyond where you are it causes a vibrational expansion or excursion that we get to take in advance of you so while you have wished for it longed for it but now you are knowing for it in other words you're expecting it there's no vibrational separation between your desire and your expectation then you get the experience of the ride that you have already provided for all of us that's why whenever you play with us whenever you hear us whenever you really hear us you hear our appreciation our complete and utter appreciation of that which you are you are the leading edge do you understand that you have come forth from non-physical with precise timing and intention and as you are participating in this magnificent time space reality we want to say to you that you are participating in what we consider to be perfect timing for it is the time of awakening it's the time when more not all but more will learn to deliberately tune their vibrational frequency that's just your attention the thoughts you think to tune your point of attraction to the vibrational equivalent of that which the source within you is so as a result of that you get to provide for source expansion you get to find your way by utilizing your emotional guidance system into vibrational alignment with the expansion that your contrast has already caused you to understand or to desire and then together we all enjoy this inevitable eternal expansion you did not come forth into these physical bodies to get things done that need to be done because stuff just gets done you did not come forth into these physical bodies because something is broken that needs to be fixed or because there is confusion that needs to be clarified you came in utter clarity you got confused after you got here <laughs> but you came in utter clarity and as we play together once again any confusion about who you are or why you are here will come into clarity it is our promise to you because we will be spending enough time together feeling the vibration of that which is you something that is nice for you to know about us is that we know you we really know you and by that we mean we know who you are we know why you came 
We know who you have become as a result of being here. And we also understand the vibrational gap that is there to some degree between who you're allowing yourself to be and who you have vibrationally become. And in these days that we are together, we will together close that gap. The result for you will be at first a feeling sensation because the emotional impact of getting vibrationally up to speed with all that you've become is an exhilarating experience. So the first manifestations that you have been feeling and that you will feel to a greater degree in a shorter period of time than you've ever felt in your entire life, you will feel the closing of that gap. You will feel your vibrational frequency raise. And of course that happens all the time with different things that you're doing, but because of the sustained period of time that we will be focused together, concentrating on that, which you are about concentrating on that, which you have become, there will be a gathering of momentum that will be momentous. There will be a gathering of momentum that will leave you in a place of stronger knowing, but even more of stronger attraction. It's a bit like resetting yourself. It's a bit like pushing the reset button. It's like restoring yourself to that default setting of all is wellness that you were born with. Only you weren't just born, were you? You have the advantage of having sifted through a lot of contrast and expanded into some very far reaching places. So when you get up to speed and you will with that vibrational expansion that you've already accomplished, well, it's going to be a really good time. The benefit that is the greatest of a gathering like this, where we get to play together for a sustained period of time is not just the momentum building, although that is very, very big and very, very important, but it's the becoming comfortable in the frequencies as they are shifting within you. It's like getting to achieve a higher vibration and then sustaining it for a longer, long enough period of time that you then own it, that then it becomes that which is you. And that is the thing that we are most excited about as a result of playing together. Because when you get up to speed with you, when you become a vibrational match to the expansion that you've specifically chosen from the contrast that you have been living, when you become a vibrational match to the things that you have delicately, deliberately, intricately chosen, huh, well, those who are watching you will be amazed at what they see there is no homework tonight or ever it is our desire that you just live in the moment especially for these next days that you take as much in as you can take in and that you struggle and stress not at all over anything because there is nothing that we will say that is important to you that you will miss so don't listen hard. Don't strain hard. We know who you are. We know where you are and there will be a vibrational and verbal message delivered to each and every one of you. We are having a vibrational voyage as well as a magnificent physical voyage. And all of the new that is before you is going to awaken within you expectation and desires that are new to you. We'll be exploring new frontiers together, but more important, you'll be coming back into alignment with who you really are. Now, when we say back into alignment, we want to explain that just briefly because no one goes back. In other words, there is only motion forward. There is never ever any regression. You cannot go back. Esther explained that to Ron when she saw her suite. There is no going back from this ever. 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 So once you realize that there is no going back, what we mean by sort of resetting, we're talking about that vibrational state of well being. We're talking about the basis of that which is you. We're talking about that general knowledge of your goodness, of your rightness, of your worthiness. We want you to, and it is our promise to you that you will accomplish this realignment with that basic vibrational core that is you and then all of the things that you have discovered along your physical trail all of the details that are uniquely yours 
will come into greater clarity, greater understanding, greater feeling. There are a few things that happen once you reset this vibrational beingness that is you. We're going to talk a lot in the days that are before us about your point of attraction. We're going to talk about how to deliberately achieve a point of attraction and even more important, how to maintain it once you have achieved it. We're going to be talking about your point of attraction primarily because your point of attraction is your point of attraction and your point of attraction is quite important. Your point of attraction. Don't you agree that your point of attraction is quite important? Because your point of attraction equals everything that comes to you, everyone with whom you interact. But it's not just the manifestations that eventually and not so far away in time will come into your experience. It's not just those material objects and there are many of them coming. But we're talking about the rendezvous with people that are coming. We're talking about the meaningful rendezvous and the perfect timing of those rendezvous. But before that, we're talking about your rendezvousing with the nature of your planet, because the nature of your planet is already up to speed with where you're going and what we will accomplish here together. But we are also talking about the rendezvous of your own thoughts, the rendezvous of your own well-placed and well-timed memories, the rendezvous of the thoughts that you have not yet thought. There is a lot of rendezvousing that takes place before any physical combining ever happens. And that rendezvousing is missed by most humans, but it will no longer be missed by you. And that's the part that's going to make your life more wonderful than almost anybody you know, because you are going to understand the setup that has happened. And then when the punchline comes, once the setup has already happened, you're going to have a really good time in the culmination of all of that. And then of course, there is that wonderful manifestation that is usually the first manifestation that you recognize, which is the emotion that comes when alignment happens. And so starting from the inside out, starting in the way that it progresses, first, you're going to feel what your point of attraction is. And then you're going to have thoughts that equal what your manifestation is. Thoughts of clarity tell you what you are vibrationally doing and thoughts of confusion tell you what you are vibrationally doing. And we're going to show you how to sort that out so that you can have clarity anytime you want and confusion anytime you oh wait. <laughs> Hello, mother. I'm calling you because I'm in the mood for confusion. You don't do that, do you? You're reaching for clarity. So from the inside out, first you will feel this emotional basis that will help you to know what you've got going on vibrationally, but then more manifestations as more momentum comes until you will begin then having rendezvous with thoughts. And that is a rich experience that most humans are not enjoying in any way near what you intended when you came forth. You're often, we love you so much so eager to get into the manifestation of things into the see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it part of life that you miss so much of the richness that is about the thought the thoughts that begin to flow into your experience so when you are deliberately tuning yourself to the frequency of your source and then the thoughts begin coming as a result of that fine tuning and you consciously acknowledge that this thought that is coming, this clarity, this knowledge that you didn't know you knew, or this combining with another that gives you a peace in perfect timing. As you start noticing and making the correlation, this is the thing that we are so excited about, making the correlation between the thought that you have deliberately thought and what's coming next. And then of course, flora and fauna will play with you and then other humans. And you will find yourself wondering, why you have ever allowed yourself to be sloppy in your thinking before because once we have finished these days together it is our full expectation that sloppy thinking will be a thing of the past and focused thinking will not just be something that you think you need to do in order to make life better later not something that you think you need to do in order to get that manifestation that you want and that one and that one and that one but something that you want to do because of the visceral feeling in your physical apparatus when you are tuned in tapped in turned on to the energy that is you in other words you can't go back that clarity that focus that insight that knowing that's who you were born to be 
And that's what we will all become together in these days that are before us.